Hi, and thank you for watching God Encounters. And this is part 27. And I'm going to call this one, He's a Creep. And the Bible verse that I'm using is Joel 4, 15. A spirit glided past my face, and the hair on my body stood on end. Joel 4 and 15. A spirit glided past my face, and the hair on my body stood on end. And I'm using this Bible verse here, this Bible um, scripture here, because a lot of times you find people that either they believe in God and they really don't believe in the devil. They say they believe in the devil and they believe in spirits and stuff, and but then when you deal with them, you really see that they really don't. Their actions say different. How they live their lifestyle says different. So you have God, and you say God is real, and you say the devil is real, but then... You know, you just have to like deal with people, and then you see like they really don't believe the devil is real. They think he's some type of like you no know, little cute little red um, uh, animal monster with little pointy ears and a little tail. So with that, you get a chance to learn and see different. That I mean, the more you get to know God, you get a chance to see that spiritual stuff are real. And with this, um, one day we had this young man to um, appear at our church, and when he appeared at our church. I mean, this is the first time this ever happened. The only time this has ever happened. And I know when you come, you come to church. The sick supposed to come to the church, but everybody they come, they, they come. Some people are sick and they're not trying to get better. They coming to do more mess, more damage. And so when the guy um, got there at our church, the first thing I was like, okay, he has a bad spirit. That I don't. I don't he got a creepy spirit. And so I was talking to this other young lady. And um, she was like, y'all, she said he's a creep. She said he's creepy. And um, so it was interesting that we both felt the same thing. So with that, um, we um, basically told my husband, who's the, um, the pastor, and we said, no, I was like, I don't know. This is what I feel. You know, this is what I feel. And she's feeling the same, um, feeling the same thing. And I was like, um, and... She um she doesn't know the guy, but the um the guy's kind of you know involved with someone in her family, and so that's why he even came to our church. And so by being involved with someone in her family, she's concerned because she's getting the same 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 feeling. Long story short, come to find out that the guy um he got he even got up and one day one day wanted to get prayed over, say he wanted to change his life and all this good stuff. And I'm looking like ah this just don't feel right in my spirit. I just I can't explain it. That when something like in my spirit just feel like I don't I just it, you just have to experience it. And I'm like this doesn't feel doesn't feel good. And I said I'm just cons I'm concerned because the um the, her family member got children and everything and the you know you don't I mean, you don't know I mean, um, you don't have a concrete evidence you don't know all you know we have uh, is a feeling. So we got like, got the children so prayed over and all that good stuff you know and it wasn't even planned it just kind of happened that day. And um, like I said, long story short, kind of find out the guy's um, name was not even his real name. And um, he was very, like, kind of weird, queer acting and everything. But kind of find out later, um, long story uh, long story short, it all appeared. It manifested. God let us to see that what we felt was not wrong. It was not far-fetched. The guy ended up getting, um, getting arrested because he was doing some creepy stuff. Um, and he just kept doing it until he got caught. And... Um, he wasn't from like um, the, the area, you know, and so we, I mean, no one really knew him, but he was just doing some creepy stuff that I can't even say on my um, show with that he got caught doing that, um, that, that would just say that he's, uh, that, you know, it's a creep and he came to do creepy stuff because he got caught doing creepy stuff in the broad daylight and, but it, it got arrested and as far as I know, he's still locked up now. I don't, you know, don't know, don't know him personally or whatever. But um, when people are that you want to help them, and you're wishing you can um, help them. But like I said, everybody doesn't come to church or even come to you because they want help. It could be a spirit leading them to come do more damage, to hurt more people, to hurt more souls. So if you um, have somebody that maybe in your family and you just have this strong feeling, you know, just pray about it and God will lead you and have God say, God, let that spirit manifest itself. So this person can be used to do damage in my family or do damage at my church or however. So with that, we did a lot of praying. And I'm telling you, I, and I got, it's, the story can be longer and more entertaining than this, but I'm trying to keep it short because other stuff came up. 
But it was true. The guy ended up getting arrested for doing some creepy stuff. He was a creep indeed. That has never happened. Um, this time it was, uh, I guess it felt even better because I had somebody else that that um, that felt the same thing. And we didn't, like, it just happened. I mean, the day it showed up, we all felt this insane feeling. So, um, and some people were like, well, don't judge them too fast, da 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 You know, and we weren't trying to judge them. I'm just telling you, the Holy Spirit tell you something. And you know that you're praying and fasting and seeking and you telling God and you're asking God every day, every day, all day. You know, God, to kill your flesh. I surrender 100%. Um, I'm always saying Galatians 2 and 20. Know that I'm in crucified with Christ and I no longer live. You know, I want to be of help of use to you, Lord. And so I feel like because we intervene with prayer and, I mean, we did so much, um, so much um, stuff, you know. I mean, like I said, fasting and praying over the kids and just, just being aware that, the devil used people and he used people to come and tear up your household i mean it may not be towards children maybe towards a husband or a wife or uh towards your church or i mean towards your job or whatever your ministry your dream whatever you're trying to do the devil would send somebody in to tear it up you mean tear it up and they come in all shape forms fashion and not all of them look ugly or not all of them look crazy some of them are beautiful nice looking men or women that will come in and turn your life upside down so that's um god for discerning discerning of spirits and and when he show you something just be aware take heed and make sure it's god showing you the holy spirit show and not your flesh so with that Thank you for watching, and I just love the way God has been manifesting himself in my life, and I would love for him to do the same in yours, and he will, because I'm no, you know, no more special than, than you are, because he made you just like he made me, and I'm imperfect just like you are, so I'm Dr. Lee, and thank you for watching, and as always, if you don't know Christ, get to know him, if your salvation has not been sealed, just all you have to do is just, like right now, all you have to do is say, Lord, I have I feel short. I'm a sinful creature and I repent. I want a better life. You know, however you want to say it's no specific way. And said, Lord, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe He lives. And Father, just guide me. Guide me on this walk and this journey. He will do it. God knows your heart. So don't think you got to be all deep in, you know, what some people make you feel. Just know that God knows your heart and He knows when you really want to get to know Him. And He'll take care of the rest. And just ask Him to lead you and guide you. And if you know God, you know, Lord, tell God to start manifesting. Ask the God, I want you to manifest yourself in my life every day. How do I get to that point? How do I get to that point? And believe me, God will show you. He will tell you some stuff to cut out and do. And He will just keep you growing and just keep having stuff just to manifest, manifest. You know, to change this, do that, do this and that. And you will just be amazed. And But God hears our prayers. But we just have to do our part. And that's to seek Him and seek His face. I'm Dr. Lee, and as always, let go, let God, and keep it moving. Thank you for watching.